Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do another plan with me in my Print Pression B6 Spiral Planner. I use this for my to-do planner, for my home to-dos, and I love it. I'll be using Sweet Kawaii Design stickers, big shocker there. This is the Wizard Critters Print Pression size kit. So this is sized technically for the Print Pression weeks. That's why the washi is this width. Uh, but it'll work just fine in this planner. It's really easy to play around with. Huge Harry Potter fan. <laughs> and this is one of my most favorite kits. And the colors are great. I love all the drawings. I mean, how cute are these full boxes? I'm just here for the butterbeer. This is one of my favorite. Don't worry, you're just, you're just as sane as I am. I have that as in a jumbo sticker on my reading planner. Still waiting on my letter from Hogwarts. I think they're... Super fun. Life's a struggle when you're a muggle. I have a little badge clip thing on my lanyard for work that says Hogwarts wasn't hiring, so I teach muggles, which I always think is really fun. Okay, so this is my planner for to do, like I said. So here's this current week and past weeks. Um, I think it's really helpful for me to have this type of planner. I've kind of found planner peace with using this as my to do planner. And um, it really seems to work for me and it helps me stay on track of the stuff that I need. I also have my sticker book here, my sticker album, which has a lot of the different chore things that we need to do each week. So I'll add those in at the end. All right, so I'm gonna start with the date covers. You'll see here that super cute, they've got this week, which I won't actually need in this kit. For print pression weeks, you usually have about eight boxes that you need to fill so this week really comes in handy but with this obviously I just have room for each of the seven days um, and like I like to do in other plan with me's that I've filmed I like to put a header down behind the date cover because I feel like it brings the color up to the top and it just kind of makes it pop with all those colors up at the top and I really like it so we'll go ahead and get those date covers done first Another thing that I like to do is I take all of these quarter boxes. So there's another one over here. So you have seven, one for each day. And I put it underneath my date covers because um, it shows the laundry that we have to do each day. Or as I've said before, I like to do a load of laundry each day. That way I'm not stuck with a ton of laundry on the weekend. Um, it doesn't always, always, you know, get folded and put away each day, but at least if it's washed, then, um, it's a lot easier to get through. So for example, the kids laundry got washed the other day. It's still sitting, it's clean, it's dry in the basket, ready to be put away. And no, it hasn't gotten put away. Yes. They have gone into the laundry room in the mornings to pick things out that they wanted to wear and whatever. Um, but that way this weekend when there's some spare time, I'm sure they will just be thrilled to put their laundry away, right? Because that's what all 10 and 12 year olds want to do. So fold their laundry and hang it up and put it all away. <laughs> all right. So I have that here. I don't put them on these days because uh, we wash bedding on the weekend. So I'll just do a half box here for that. And then I will find at the end some of my bed stickers and put one there. I don't think I probably have one of these. Yeah, there isn't one. There's a lot of little deco in this kit, which is really cute, um, which will be great for my to-do items. Uh, but there is not any uh, bed sticker. All right, I'm going to put this washi down along the bottom. Obviously, it's not long enough to fill up the entire bottom, but that's okay. Uh, it's super cute. I like that it's yellow. Hufflepuff, total Hufflepuff pride here. Um, 
anybody who's a Harry Potter fan, maybe you know what house you're in. I'm definitely a Hufflepuff. I wanted to be a Gryffindor for the longest time because I really love Professor McGonagall. She's my favorite character in the Harry Potter book. No shocker there since I'm a teacher. Um, and I just love it in the book when she, yeah, just her character and especially toward the end of the book where she really just goes for defending everybody. Um, but, you know, I am much more of a Hufflepuff in nature. So therefore, maybe I'm a Huffledore or Griffin Puff or, you know, whatever the combination is. Okay, so I have that here. And then I like to put this sticker here. It won't color block perfectly. This is orange and this is the green, but that's okay. I also will cut off the days of the week so I can put a little list here. I will put a half box here. To kind of round out the space along the bottom. Ooh, that's crooked. Okay. My favorite things about these stickers is how easily I can peel them back up again and fix anything that's crooked or something I don't like. All right, so now I'm going to look at my full boxes. You know, I also know I have a sheet of large Harry Potter deco. I think I'll grab that because maybe I'll want to try to fit one of those in somewhere, especially since I don't have long to-do lists. I might have a little more wiggle room to put a large deco, maybe one, maybe two in there um, and not accidentally block some of this off. Let me grab that. Okay, back with my large deco. I love how Tasia at Sweet Kawaii Design does this. Sometimes when she has a great kit like this, often, I mean, all the kits are great, right? But sometimes she'll make these large deco sheets, which go great with the kits. Or you could use them in so many different ways. You could use them in some kind of a journal. You could use them in a memory planner as just fun stickers to make cards or anything like that. Anybody who loves Harry Potter would get a kick out of any of these stickers. So... Now I have these and I might, you know, maybe split it between two columns. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how that goes. All right. So, gosh, I have all these fun full boxes. And I mean, what am I going to use? Oh, well, I'll definitely be using this yellow one because there aren't any other yellow ones. And how cute is this? Poe in his uh, Hufflepuff robes and Bo in the Ravenclaw colors. I love it. Really cute. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm going to use the green here. Okay. So like I said, this is the print pression size, which means that the full boxes are slightly shorter than the regular vertical kit size. They're still an inch and a half wide, but they're slightly shorter, which is nice. It gives me a little bit more room. Okay, now pink, I have to make a decision because I'm not going to put a full box on Saturday. I need this space. Oh, I love the don't worry, you're just as sane as I am. But since I look at that basically every day on my reading planner, I think I'm going to pick the life's a struggle when you're a muggle. Because, you know, I agree with that. Life is a struggle sometimes when you're a muggle or just in general. <laughs> For all you teachers out there, or if you work in the education field, coming toward summer vacation. I do not have a specific day count. Honestly, it is flying by so quickly for me at the end of the school year right now that I can't even keep track. We just finished official state testing today, although I do have a few students who need to do makeup testing because they uh, were absent. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have to make another decision between I'm just here for the butterbeer, oh my gosh, or still waiting on my letter from Hogwarts. This is like the best problem to have, isn't it? Too many cute boxes. Wow. Because again, I'm not going to use one over here on the Sunday. Oh man, this is this is a tough choice. I think I'm going to go, I'm just here for the butterbeer, which makes me really sad because still waiting on my letter from Hogwarts is also one of my favorites, but... The butterbeer one cracks me up with George and everything. If you guys had butterbeer before, we've uh, taken a family vacation to Universal Studios in Hollywood. 
several years ago, we went, it was really fun. Um, we actually went down there, we drove, we're not, you know, we're, we're drive down to Southern California, five, six hours. And uh, the first day we went to Universal Studios Hollywood, it was raining, which we thought, oh man, it's raining. It was amazing because um, the park was pretty empty. So we had no wait time for any of the rides. If you've been there, you know, the castle ride where you go through um, the Harry Potter castle and then you go on this ride, which was really cool. But oh my gosh, I had to close my eyes because I thought I was going to get sick, which would not have been a good look. Um, we could just walk through it. We could walk on it. It was amazing. I would go back to the parks when it's raining in a heartbeat if I had a choice because it was such a great experience to do that. We just wore ponchos. Didn't matter if we got rained on. We didn't care. Uh, and then we've also been to Universal Studios Florida. We went there for spring break a few years ago. Obviously not last year. Uh, maybe the year before that we went. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. <laughs> I would love to go back there. Um, really, really fun. Love Harry Potter. And the butterbeer, if you've been there, oh my gosh, it is so good. I could have that. The frozen butterbeer, even the warm butterbeer hot, doesn't matter. It's all really good. Okay, I've got my full boxes on. So now, what do I want to do next? I'm still trying to figure out if I can add in some of this deco, which I really like. The wand would work really well. The broom, maybe, as kind of a fun little checklist. I like those. Anyway, back to what I was originally saying before I got completely distracted by my choice between the orange boxes. Those of you in education, we are counting down the days. It's been going so fast. We finished up state testing and it's just been a blur. It's it's a race to the end and it's crazy. In my district, next year we'll have a new superintendent. At my school site, we will be having a new principal who was just announced last night and we met her via Zoom this morning for like 10 minutes and she seems amazing. Uh, a, a friend of mine who used to teach in my district actually works for our new principal in her current district and says that she's awesome. So I'm really excited about next year and getting back to normal, getting open full time again. So we've been doing hybrid, which has been, the kids have been so amazing and so wonderful. I'm just, I'm really looking forward to being with the kids all the time, all day, not half at home, half at school um, and Zoom. I, if I never Zoom again, it will, will be too soon. Um, so those of you in education, more power to you get to the end of the school year. We're so close uh, for a very challenging year for all of us. Okay, I've got some fun big deco. And let's see, I am going to put my little deco here. I always like to make sure I have at least one to kind of start off these lists. And with this kit, I should have even more than one, which will be really nice. stickers on. So you can see I still have a bunch left. I still have a few full boxes here, a couple half boxes. We'll put $2 Tuesday. That's always awesome. And Freebie Friday. And we'll put those starting up here, up here. I still have all of these. I'll need to cut that off. So I'll leave that out because I still need to do something with that. I'm trying to figure out if I want to use maybe even something down here in this half box. That might look kind of cute. I could use the Deathly Hallows. I could use the letter. Kind of like that. Or the Luna glasses. Or Hedwig. Who doesn't love Hedwig? Maybe I'll use Hedwig since I... You know what I could do? I could use the letter and Hedwig and combine the two of them because Hedwig carries letters. Let's see how that looks. I like that. Now it does mean they'll only be able to fit three things here, but I think that should be okay. Um, I don't think that will be 
a problem. We'll see if it is. I can always change it again because I can peel it up, but I really like having Hedwig carrying the letter. I think that's really cute. I don't know if I really have a lot of room for the rest of the big deco. Maybe I could try putting lightning bolt there and I'll put the bed over it. That looks kind of fun. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. We'll see how it looks with the bed over it. All right, so I'll get my little chore stickers and add those. to do oh I need to add laundry stickers hold on before hold that thought let's see I need to find my super duper cute Frank laundry stickers gosh I love these so much all right I'll need let's see what colors do I want kind of as close as I can to get to Harry Potter colors. We have the green and the pink. We'll do, I don't know if that doesn't really go, but oh well. Okay. And the last thing now for real is that list right here. Okay. Have my handy dandy scissors. I think we'll call it a day. That is it. We've got lots of fun Harry Potter cuteness everywhere. I didn't end up using these small checklists. I didn't really have a lot of space for them and I'm fine with them not being used, although they are really cute. Maybe, of course, I'll save all these, right? I've got leftovers and I have this kit in vertical size too to use in my big planner at some point, maybe Harry Potter birthday week or something like that. Um, okay. Have a wonderful day. Happy planning. I hope you get to spend lots of time playing with stickers and planners and all that good stuff.